Hi there, Steve Kaufman. Um, you know, you often hear that there are different types of learners. There are auditory learners and visual learners and kinetic learners. People like to learn by listening or by seeing or by doing. Uh, books have been written on the subject. I think even, you know, pedagogy has been developed to suit different kinds of learners. Personally, I don't believe that we learn differently. I don't think there are auditory learners or you know purely auditory learners or purely visual learners. I think we all learn in all of these different ways. I think the basic way in which the brain learns is the same. And there has there a professor somewhere in the United States has written on this subject and he he also has has is of the same view and has demonstrated it. I think it's a fad. What is true is that different learners have different interests. Different learners are motivated by different things. And so what we should do, I think in language instruction, this is something I alluded to in my previous video, we should find out, you know, how, how do we, how can we test, what kind of profile can we have or, or a testing procedure to determine where are the trigger points, where are the things that would motivate learner A versus learner B versus learner C. And maybe there are different types of learners based on what interests them and what motivates them. And maybe there are ways that we can find out what these things are and therefore we can motivate learners. And I think that's the challenge. I know in my own case, I always think of those wonderful pieces of, of audio or, or reading that really grabbed me when I was learning, say, Chinese. I can think of the things in Chinese history or Xiangsheng, or I can think of a German, you know, cassette tape series where they uh, interviewed people uh, in different walks of life. Uh, to me, it's always been this interesting content that grabs me. Now, some people like to do grammar. Some people like to do flashcards. So, um, you know, how do we find out what kind of a learner the person is in terms of what motivates them? Uh, I don't think the issue is so much, uh, are there different ways in which different people's brains work differently to, to learn languages? I think it's basically the same. The brain, as, as, as I understand it, basically has to get used to the stimulus that it receives. And out of the disorder of all this stimulus, it has to create patterns. Uh, I don't for a minute believe in Chomsky's, you know, universal grammar. I don't believe that for a minute. I think that the way we naturally through listening as children and hearing the language start to form patterns and put labels on things and start to make sense of it is, is just the same way we deal with all the phenomena that we encounter in life. We, the brain has to put some order to this, otherwise every time they encounter that situation, it's new. So, so they have to make rules, they make their own rules. And, uh, and I think we all, all of our brains work the same way. However, for whatever reason, we have different interests. Some people like sports, some people like music, some people like reading, some people don't like reading. Um, so, so, so I think the key thing there and the challenge is to try to find out what makes people tick when it comes to language learning and how can you trigger people and how can you design a curriculum that is going to, with 30 different people in the classroom, make sure that each student is motivated to the maximum. That should be the challenge in language learning rather than uh, grammar instruction or drills or worrying about kinetic learners and things of that nature. Anyway, that should stir up a bit of discussion, so I look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.